Good morning. It is 5.45 in the morning and I have two sleepy kids and a sleepy mom. We are heading out to go fishing this morning. So we're really, really excited. Um, as you can see, <laughs> we're up before the sun and that's quite a feat with the three of us, but uh, we are up, we're dressed, we're ready, and we're about to head out on the road um, to go meet Matt, our guide, and have a great day of fishing. So come along with us. Give me a great morning. So yeah, you guys are gonna sit just right here on the front for me. Towel. I've got one. It's not too close right on that for, for this. Mom, I'm going to have you back here with me. Cool. Okay, we're making a quick stop for some bait. We're going to pick up some shrimp. And uh, so that's what we're doing right now. We're in St. Augustine making a little pit stop. day for us. Um, we went fishing this morning with Captain Matt and had an amazing time. We caught a variety of species. I'm going to be making a fishing video of that trip later on, um, but we caught all kinds of stuff. We got croakers and flounders and toadfish and all sorts of things, um, and that was a lot of fun. We got to learn a lot about uh, flat fishing in St. Augustine and how to spot different kinds of fish, how to understand the ecosystem a lot better, which was amazing. So we came back after that, we took a little bit of a nap, we had a great lunch, and um, Aiden and I decided to take out the kayaks. And uh, we knew that low tide was going to be 7 p.m. tonight. So uh, low tide generally looks like this. We came out at about 4.30 or, or thereabouts and uh, low tide looked like this. So we thought, okay, we have a channel to get through and we'll just have to hurry and be back here, you know, before six o'clock and we should be fine. Um, we shouldn't run into too much mud bringing the kayaks back in. Well, we were wrong. What actually happened was that we got stuck pretty much right away, like 15, 20 minutes into our paddle. Uh, we were just kind of going around some of these little grassy areas that you can see out there. There was water there. However, they are very, very shallow and um, Aiden was the first to get stuck. He's in a lightweight kayak. It's a paddle only kayak and uh, so no pedal drive, nothing sticking down below to get stuck. You stuck? Are you stuck? Just be careful getting back in because your seat's not attached. He got out in the mud, made a big mess, but that was okay. He lost his shoes <laughs> and that was okay too. But then I got stuck. And this is where things went from mildly inconvenient to actually pretty bad. <clears throat> My kayak weighs about 100 pounds, a little over that, um, rigged, and um, also I weigh more than Aiden and uh, I'm on the heavier side, if you can't tell. So that's a lot of weight bearing down. And unfortunately, my pedal drive, which is a fin style drive, I just got it really stuck in mud. And it was straight down.
us honestly about an hour and 15 minutes of maneuvering and pushing and getting out and getting completely covered in mud from head to toe, both of us. To get my, my kayak out of being so stuck. Honey, I'm like stuck. Can you help me? I'm not going anywhere here. I'm just gonna get stuck too. No, you're not. I have a pedal drive that is stuck in the mud. I need your help. And you just like bang into me really hard. I can't get the drive out. I'm completely stuck. Hold on, let me take this thing off. GoPro, stop recording. Current status. Our current status is uh, Aiden is chest deep in mud. My kayak is stuck in mud. I am hip deep in mud. Aiden's kayak is beached on oysters. I'm beached on mud. We're having a good time. Send help. Our location is in the description. That's a joke, <laughs> by the way. This is uploaded. We've gotten out. Yeah, because we don't have any Wi Fi out here. Champion. Aiden hung in there like a champion. Uh, I only said bad words maybe 30 or 40 times, which is great for me. Uh, it was frustrating and stinky and dirty. Um, my kayaks are really a mess. <laughs> and Aiden's that he was in. We had a bit of an incident with the mud. This water is significantly higher than it was uh, earlier which is weird because this should be dead low tide. And we are back home, we're safe, we're relatively clean. I took one shower already. I am definitely gonna take another one because I smell like the pit of hell. And my phone died when I was out on the dock. So here I'm finishing up the recording. Listen, it was a crazy day, but a kind of a bonding experience for me and my son. Um, sometimes, you know, these things that are unexpected and, and really kind of suck <laughs> can form some of the best memories, you know? How we respond to tough situations and how we work together as a family really can turn out to be some of the most meaningful times um, in our relationships and in our family life. And so for that reason, I'm actually kind of glad this happened. We still have some cleanup to do. Obviously the kayaks are a mess and I'm on load like four of laundry already, <laughs> but we're safe and uh, everybody's okay. And uh, it's certainly a story to tell and we've got some great mud pictures. So thank you guys so much for watching with us. I hope you enjoyed watching our big mess of mud today, as well as our fun fishing trip. And uh, I hope you'll tune in tomorrow for our next daily vlog. Thanks a lot and we'll catch you later.